USS Callister was many people's favourite episode from Season 4. Following the life of the twisted character Robert Daly, he has inserted people from his workplace via their DNA into his game, and essentially plays God with all of the characters' lives within it. It's an episode that consisted of highs and lows for the character, and many times you're not a fan of him. With an Emmy behind the episode, have you stopped to think what the most powerful moment in USS Callister actually is? Well, let's find out. Before I go ahead, make sure you go over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. So without further ado, I'm BrainPilot, and here is the most powerful moment in Black Mirror, USS Callista. Just to let you know, there will be spoilers, obviously. The episode USS Callister was a hit with many fans of Black Mirror, and as I mentioned, it went on to win an Emmy for being an outstanding television movie. There are many moments that most probably deserve to take the top spot of being the most powerful moment in the episode. However, I've whittled it down to one. Many people might say that the most powerful moment in the show could be the characters escaping Robert's private server and making it into the public domain which in turn leaves Robert's game shutting down, forcing him to die in the real world. However, I would have to disagree. Yes, that was the moment that the episode was building up to, but I don't necessarily feel as though it was the most powerful. For me, I would say that the most powerful moment in the episode is where Kristen Milioti's character, Nanette Cole, has her eyes, nose, and mouth completely covered over due to Robert Daly saying so. This in turn gives us the haunting image of her lying there not being able to see, or speak, or even breathe properly, scratching at her neck and constantly trying to catch the breath that is never going to arrive. He states that if she doesn't follow his commands and do as he says, then that will be what life will be like for her, for eternity. This beats the final scene of the episode due to the fact that it sums Robert Daly's character up perfectly. Robert Daly is a character that somewhat lacks confidence in being able to speak to people directly. In the real world, he has an issue with every single one of the characters that he decided to put into his game, when in reality, they haven't actually done anything wrong to him. They just don't give him the attention that he so desires, and he feels as though that lack of attention is disrespectful towards him. It bears an all too similar comparison to what is known as a keyboard warrior in real life, but in Black Mirror, of course, it has the capability of taking it a step further. During the episode, you see, when he's in the office, how it looks as though he's constantly listening to what everybody is saying, and almost preys upon the new recruit Nanette. He wants to seek out her DNA and put her in the game, so he can in fact be with her in a world where he's in control and she has no other option of rebelling against him. Otherwise, it comes with painful consequences. That's why I think that the moment he shuts off her face is the most powerful of them all, because in his gaming world, he's in control. And that's something that he lacks in the real world, despite being the creator of the game and high up in the company. He's power hungry and demands a lot of respect from everybody around him, even though he's not clear about that. By doing such a torturous act and showing everybody else in the ship what he's doing, it asserts his authority and allows him to act the complete opposite to how he is in the real world. I would go as far as saying that Robert Daly is a narcissistic character who does put himself on a pedestal, and when he is not treated with the respect that he deserves, rather than speaking to somebody directly in the real world, he puts them in his game and plays God. The closing up of the face highlighted that in all of its glory, and showed us as viewers just how much of a sick and twisted character Robert actually is. He cares not for the people, but for himself. And when he knows that he's in control and there are no consequences for his actions, he reigns free and parades his power over everybody else. That is why I believe that this is the most powerful moment in USS Callister. If you want to say in what video I make on the channel next, then over on the community page, I've started doing polls. Have your say and see the video you want to see. As well, if you want to support the channel in a different way, then I've recently set up a Patreon. And by going over there, you can get your hands on some exclusive content that's only available on Patreon. Take a look and see what you think. What do you think the most powerful moment in USS Callister is? Would you like to see more most powerful moments for previous episodes? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.